Hello friends, welcome to Crafts and Collage. I'm Janet. And take a minute to subscribe because I love seeing those numbers go up. Yes, indeed. Um, tonight we're going to share Christmas with the tiny glue books, right? This is a big thing now on Amazon. Banana for scale, right? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of it in the reviews, but um, yeah, they put bananas in. So these are our tiny glue books. I'm going to take you through one walkthrough of our little glue book that we did this past year. And um, then we can do a couple of Christmas pages in the new one. And these pages are the ones that we did over the course of the year. I loved working in here. It was just so much fun. This is my absolutely favorite page. Love that page. Food for thought. Hello, sunshine. I love that. And then I left this uh, like I always do for notes. I'm going to put uh, white on that page and make notes about this book. But this is one of my favorite tiny books so far. I love that book. So here is the new one. I've made the cover for it already. It's an old, um, you know, blood sugar measure book thing. You know, keep track of your blood sugar and all that. So I've fixed the front. Um, I ended up I used to cut the tabs off my pages, but I'm just going to ignore those because I don't care. So, this is going to be our opening page. It's going to be a Christmas spread in this second tiny book. Um, so, we are going to take a look at the tiny Christmas pictures that I was able to get. Here is... Um, a sleigh and an angel. Angel and an ornament. I love these. These are all too small to put on a bigger page unless I'm covering up a spot, you know. I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I cut it out because I thought it was a sweetie picture. So sweet. And this one, I my camera's not very good at tiny stuff. I'm getting a new one though, folks. I've uh, in the first of the year, I'm I'm ordering a new one. But I've got some lovely Christmas pictures here, and then ones that I cut this out of the middle of a bigger picture, and I'm going to see if I can work that because we're gonna, probably going to do two pages like two different spreads on this video unless it takes me a forever long time. <laughs> so let's see where we get um, what would be our focal point. That's too big. This isn't really Christmas, it's more winter, but this would be a lovely way to start side or this side. <coughs> or the doors. That would be kind of fun. The doors down here. I need to square off that. Sometimes the slant in a paper just doesn't work. So is everybody ready for the holidays? Don't you hate that when people say that? For those who are um, are pa uh, pagan or enjoy the the Yule festival, tomorrow is Yule, the uh, shortest day of the year, the longest night in the northern hemisphere. So blessed Yule to all of those who celebrate it. <coughs> I... Uh, Wish you nothing but wonderful, wonderful road ahead for the new year. Much creativity and joy and family and all those wonderful things that come with it. <coughs> now, I 
have to watch with these these cut out corners because I end up gluing underneath them but you definitely want to trim off the excess oh my hand is not the steadiest today I didn't get very much sleep last night um, my daughter had an exam to write one of her her last final exam for this semester at the university and uh, she had to go in for 8.30 and my granddaughter had to be on the school bus for 8.30 so I had to get up extra early to get grandbaby on that bus <coughs> so that was fun made my sleep a little limited but you know okay this is where I think this larger picture is going to come I actually think I'm going to do this page with this beautiful old Santa. I that just to me it suits the tiny book. I've got beautiful pictures in, you know, all the other um, glue books that we've done and Christmas pictures that we've done. But I really like. I'm going to fill a page with him. I am definitely going to fill a page. Okay, so. Um, if I can get this on a straight edge. Good luck, Janet. <laughs> Good luck. So I'm in um, sort of very beginning, very basic conversation with somebody um, who <coughs> designs and manufactures different types of storage containers. And um, we're considering, you know, trying to do up a line for those who are, you know, either neurodivergent or ADHD, you know, but a set of storage containers that would be just for that and, you know, <coughs> just work beautifully. Um, so I, there, it's nothing yet. I don't even know if it's going to go forward, but it's kind of an exciting talk because I've spoken to so many creators who are you know who love to do their their crafts and creations and artwork and so on and um, they're just sometimes the whole the whole thing is can be flummoxing when you know you've got a, a supply and um, you know you know it's there you just know it's there you've seen it you you know you remember putting it away and so on but um, that can be very frustrating for people who are already at a disadvantage and you know um, rumba brain going 25 miles in a minute you know with five different ten different windows open <laughs> like it can be daunting so um, it's just in its very initial stages, early thoughts, but but uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking the idea. So we'll see where that goes. It's going to be interesting because, you know, divergent or not, those some of those storage solutions can be absolutely amazing, and make life so much easier. You know, that's the um, Swedish legend the Christmas legend where she has the where's the crown of candles it's actually quite a gruesome legend from what I've read um, you know gruesome violent things like that she's she's uh, not well treated this person in the legend I should have I so, should have researched more I'm sorry I should have looked it up you know what it was all about and stuff so I apologize for that because usually I do. I'll look something up. But um, um, she wears the crown to light the way or something like that. It's a very nice story if you get a chance to read about it. <coughs> and I imagine all you'd have to do is Google Swedish uh, Christmas legend crown of lights, crown of candles, something like that. Wow, that's kind of nice. I like that. <coughs> I like that. I'm sorry the glare is making this difficult. I do apologize, folks. Things are going to be uh, getting a new setup in, in the new year, so I'm kind of excited about that. 
We'll see how that goes. All right. What can we do here? Is there some garland that we can put up like that? There is. Okay. So we can take this garland from this side and take it up and across. Let's see what that gets us. Yeehaw! Okay, so we're going to go with the lower portion. Okay, so that will take care of this which was bugging me. I'm going to admit to you right away, you know, that you know me in sort of odd patches. I've got to, it's probably obsessive compulsive, but I've got to get them patched in. You know what I mean? It bothers me if there's, you know, little spots and stuff like that. A perfectionist streak or something like that. You know, I don't necessarily do that with the pile of clean laundry. I just sat down <laughs> and had every intention of folding and so on. You know, that thing, that whole, that whole uh, behavior and practice, folding. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, not the same, but, yeah, it bugs me if there's an open spot that I've missed, especially, like, you see the little white edge? For some reason, that really, that kind of thing just, it irritates me. So, I tend to just go with the flow on that and do what what my gut's sort of telling me to do. Okay, so I need something longer for this side as well. Can we get away with that again? I think so. What do you think? I think we probably could. Must have the heat on fairly high in the house tonight because the glue is very butter, buttery soft. I don't know if that happens to you guys, like, you know, winter time and the house is sort of kept warm and, you know, the oven's on more and the air fryer's on more and stuff, so the house is warmer, but do you like, does your glue warm up? Because mine does. Now, it's um, interesting working on smaller spaces like this. It's really different, i got to say. Okay, eyes quit playing tricks on me. Yeah, it's different working on this size um, piece. Okay, this I'm going to have to make sure is dry before I close this book for sure. All right. All right, this is pieced together just fine. I like this a lot. The other tiny book was so much fun to work in. So much fun. It was interesting. It got fun to try and, I mean, fill that kind of space with photographs that go together. Hell, even finding the size photograph we needed was a challenge, but a fun one, you know? And any book, don't forget, um, Tony over on, um, Tony's Witchy Crafts, I think it's her channel's called. I'll try and remember to put a link below. Um, she made bookmarks out of her 2023 calendar, like the cool pages in her calendar. And that's an awesome idea, like that is just... That's too cool. I take my um, my uh, old calendars, like my day books and stuff like that, my calendars, and I make glue books out of them. If I don't need the information in them, I use the pages and just glue book over them. So I end up having a whole new glue book, which is where my current calendar is headed. And it's a big one. It's like magazine size. So. All right, so I think we need an actual glue page for this. Yep, the glue is really, really soft. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm running into the funniest problem. I want to um, film on my phone because it's got an excellent camera, produces beautiful vids, and um, the problem is that the program that would allow me to see it, what it's seeing on my PC while I do it, like I'm, I'm looking here, but I'm also looking at the PC monitor next to me to see what it looks like in the camera angle because the glare you would get isn't the glare I would get and stuff like that. So it's interesting. Interesting. And I put that piece in the wrong place. Is that not hilarious? Oh my goodness. Okay, Janet, steal another piece. Let's steal something tiny from that pile. Where is that little tiny a sleigh or an angel? I like the idea of the angel, to be honest with you. To me, that sounds lovely. Is that even? Looks pretty even. Okay, don't go and cut too much now. Like you normally do, woman. Yep. <clears throat> so a couple of the things I ordered for this Christmas didn't come through, and I did order them in plenty of time. They just were, they ended up being out of stock by the time my order was to be fulfilled so um, it's unfortunate but I have to go out shopping okay about there I would say that'll leave enough room I can even move the angel down a bit not sure which angel that is might be Raphael it's not Michael he's not carrying a sword that I can see Michael carries a sword. <coughs> Just a trivial piece of, of info. Okay, so we have to cut off either the candle thing or move the angel down even more. Let's do that. There we go. Right there. Guarding the doors. Beautiful. Works for me. Totally works for me guarding the doors. Now, I chose, because this is such a tiny book, and yes, I did use text in the other book, but all my Christmas text thingies, the little pieces and stuff that I have, is all fairly big. And I don't want to obscure all these sweet little pictures with, um, with uh, text. So I have chosen basically to uh, just go with the pictures for now. Um, I would like to add the ornament in here. Is that too heavy? Yes, I think so, but the sleigh might be perfect. Little tiny sleigh thingy. Alright, so we will add that right there and we'll have a lovely two set or two page spread here <clears throat> take him up a little ways here now this is definitely going to have to dry before I can do any more this is it's got to dry it's just it's too too um, gluey right now to do any more on so what I'm going to do is uh, pause the camera for a minute, get this dry under the dryer, and then I'll go on and do another page. Alright, so we're back and it's dry. I can turn the page now and do another series. Um, this handy old thing is a nail dryer. Not for the gel or anything, just a regular it's got hot and cool air. It's just a fan. But oh my goodness, it's handy as a crafter to just sit stuff under there and let it dry. Okay, this one I would really, really like to focus with this first off. <clears throat> I think I would like that. And the white edge down here is sort of part of the seam, but we're gonna 
we're gonna ditch it. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. I felt like we should pay homage to the tiny books for Christmas for the holiday season, eh? What do you think? Was that a good plan? Have you guys started a tiny book yet or a little glue book? If you have, like, could you let us know or let us know if you like it or what size it is or what you're doing in it, that kind of thing. Even if you don't make vids, because I know a lot of people don't. But um, I would love for you to share what you're doing in your tiny book and like what size it is, where where it originally came from, things like that. Because usually the tiny ones seem to come from something else. The first one, this book, is um, the instructions, actually Chinese, because they're in Chinese, instructions to a tarot deck I bought online. And so the book does me no good. I don't need it anyway. I haven't needed it for 50 years, but... Um, so the the book became a tiny clue book, which was just fine with me. <laughs> just fine. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we could do some of this winter scene up at the top here. Coming through, maybe? I don't know yet. I'm not sure about that. Um, I do have a couple of things here that I wanted to... These are the same picture. One was a small, one was a large in the same magazine. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet. And then I had another Christmas picture I had pulled out that was... It's too big for... Uh. thought I had one in here with tiny images on it. So, I don't. Can't find it. Oh, well. Alright, so, we're going to do what we can do with this one. I think we're actually going to bring that up to the side like that. I really like the idea of adding the branches, you know, like along here. Maybe take that off just below the banister railing. I love the fact that it's not only just the holidays, it's like long weekends and stuff for people who have to, you know, do the 8 to 5 thing or the... Monday through Friday thing, and people are getting time off, and oh, it's just, it, the holidays are lovely. No matter what you're celebrating, you know, there seems to be some time off around the New Year spot, and isn't it wonderful? I just love it. Okay, we're going to take a little bit more of this off, so that I can pop it down and cover that, the beginning of the word, favorite. Take a tiny bit more off. Be careful, Janet. You cut too much usually. Same old, same old. Okay, so we are, yep. Are we long enough to cover that? Of course we're not. See? Every time. Every single time. If you're a regular on my channel, you'll know that that is not a lie. I overcut something every single time. And you know what? It's okay. I think it's become my, like, trademark. <laughs> Overcutgluebookingjanet.com Yeah. <laughs> I still like it there, even if I have to take something else out to cover that, that favorites word. <laughs> But yeah, anything can become a glue book, and it's a great way to use up your 2023, um, dang it, 2023 calendars by turning, once you've extracted, you know, because I put a lot of info in there that I have to sort of carry on the next year, you know, domain expiries and things like that. So, um, 
it's wonderful way to use up an old calendar no matter how it's bound you know it can be anything from glue bound to spiral bound it doesn't matter it creates a a great glue book and you cover everything anyway so all right so will you fit down here of course you won't <laughs> my granddaughter uh, she's four and uh, somewhat um, uh, verbally challenged she's autistic so she's um, she's you know talking and so on it's a verbal thing for her and uh, she says of course I can and of course you do and it's everything's of course it's adorable Nah, I'm biased I think the kids just simply adorable what can I say what can I say that is a cute little mouse oh it would sit there perfectly actually so I'll sacrifice it to this glue book page and just leave a little bit of the white around it so it can really be seen because if I fussy cut this then it will disappear into what's around it and what I'm putting it on it's got little mousy details and um, little mousy like a little mousy drawing so I think I'm just gonna leave it as a as a white almost border I think that it that, that's perfect. I'm sorry, but I think it's perfect. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. And we're going to put him right there. Right where I sit. There we go. Yep. Yep. Mouse, mice, mices. Okay, so we will put this tree in right here now Janet do not cut too much do not we're going to cut here where is it there and there okay so let's try this first where is this we'll take off the top decapitate the picture even it out. Lovely little old-fashioned painting. Truly lovely. <clears throat> Even this side out. Now why do we need it? I can still take a look. See, now I'm into danger zone where I'm eyeballing things. And like my eyeballs are bad enough to begin with. Holy cow, we're playing with a dangerous deck here. Okay, so we will take it off there and see where we are still too too tall don't want to cover Santa's head so we'll take a little more off the bottom okay woot I didn't overcut woot woot Woot, I say. I just wanted Santa's hat to show because it's not the regular like Coca-Cola Santa. It's the old-fashioned European or Nordic Santa. <coughs> Norway, Denmark, I forget where that whole thing started with the reindeer and all what. Ugh. Soft glue. Don't like it. Don't like the feel of it. Don't like what it does. See, it leaves itself all over my desk. And this paper needs to be changed anyway. This, this, um, it's just Mac Tack or shelf paper or whatever they call it now. So, I actually like both of these and I'm still keeping my eye open in the various Christmas magazines I have for small enough text that isn't going to overpower my pages but we have this one which is our first Christmas 
Christmas glue book spread, and we have this one, which is our second. Simple, easy, fun. If I get lettering, I can put it right across here, so I do have some spots. Not much over here, maybe down here somewhere. We'll see. If I can find something, I'll add it in and I'll show you. Take care and have a great tomorrow.